Hello everybody, it's Sephiroth of Four for another episode of Let's Play Rakuen Blind. In the last episode, we finally helped out Tony and Christina uh, come to a resolution. Um, it was nice. I think this is just the same note. Yeah, that's just the thing about the mirror. Um, it was nice. We, you know, we got to see them just be able to reconcile over you know, what she thought she was being blamed for Benny's death and he didn't know how to express how broken he was inside. So yay. I like your hat. I folded it myself, my mom taught me. I want a hat like that. You did a very good job. I used to know how to fold some things out of paper. I'm not sure I'd remember any more though. Hey kid. Who's the lady here? This is my daughter, Christina. Like I always say, it's good to have some company now and then, don't you think? <laughs> hey kid. My job, are you serious? I'm a retired pilot, blah 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 blah, okay. Yeah, so happiness. Sorry. Um, anyway, uh, we do have an item that we can still buy from you if we have the money. Yay! So now we have all the items from them. We also have OG the cat. So that's good. And now we're gonna check on Kisaburo because apparently he got out again. He doesn't remember me. Oh, hello dear. How are you feeling today? You're so beautiful, miss. I'm sorry. Our anniversary is coming up, so I thought I'd bring Kisaburo something nice to cheer him up. But I figure it's best to wait until the right time. I'm sure he's exhausted from all the tests, so I'll give him some time. <laughs> I think higher dosage would help with these recent hallucinations. You can get more rest and feel better overall. I'm not hallucinating! Kisaburo, you can't keep going outside. Why not? I'm a grown man. If I want to leave, I can leave at any time. It's not safe out there, and you're destroying hospital property. I have to fix the train. It's my job. You can't keep taking my tools away from me. I'm running out of time. I have to tell her something. I have to tell her. Dr. Kenji is going to be observing you for a while. Please know we're doing all we can to help you right now. It's the tea, guys. Don't you understand? It's the tea. Sometimes when a patient's body is not well, it can affect their mind. Don't I know it! These sorts of things are never easy. Oh, man. Hey, kid. Seems you're the only one who listens to me these days. Everyone else thinks I've completely lost it. Why'd you go outside? Dog thing's too dangerous. I'm running out of time. I have to find it. I have to finish it. I have to send a message. I'll send an SOS to the world. Let's see uh, what he did, if anything new. Anything new? I'll send an SOS to the world. That means you, Kisaburo. And we already went past here, right? Gathering tools at a time. I have to send a message. I have to send a message. I have to send a message. We've already been here, but this is the way to get to where uh, Christine and Kisaburo were in the first place, so... God, I love this place. All right, the little spirit pupper. Uh You're like the uh, the dog from. Um, maybe I need to get the pick at this point. You're like the dog from. Uh, uh, what's it called? Persona Three. So you're still here, at least. Did you leave your pond? It's like I'm relaxing here, it's more like solitary confinement. Yeah, so this is his story, we saw it already. So remember last time we talked to him, we, he said, why don't you go do what you're doing first, then come back here. I would asked Kang for help, but seeing how Marzora's command uh, commanded me to stay here, I guess I have no other choice. My wife, Kazuko, and I run a little tea shop to the west of here. 
Ever since I got sick, she's had to run the shop all by herself, which is no small task. Perhaps if Kazuko had a couple extra helping hands, it might ease the burden a bit. Do you think you could visit her at our tea shop west of here and see if she needs help with anything? Yeah, totally. Of course, we'll help however we can. Thank you so much. It really means a lot to both of us. Uh, I think Christina is probably up by, uh, Tony now. She's probably not in the cave here, so I just want to check, because that's what I do. Also, we've been down here, but I'm just making sure. Okay, so when we get the pick, we have to come back here also. There's no touch to the rocks. Hang out at Liebel Village, that's what I thought. Yes, yeah, so we can't go inside. It makes sense, she's visiting Tony in the real world, so... Uh, means that we can also get back to Liebel Village. I don't think that we have enough reeds and fireflies or whatever it was for the pig. I don't know, I don't remember what we needed for the pig. We need the reeds and the fireflies for something, right? But I'd like to go and make sure because, you know, that would open up the world significantly for us. Also, we get to listen to the music more as I wander around. Uh, you are the sketchy guy, right? Yeah. Nothing to see here. Uh, is there a easy way back to Liebel Village from here? Answer, no. Uh, wait, no, we can go up, can't we? Right, the road goes there, Dovey. Stoop. Oh, this is where the envoy are. Uh, you know what? Let's check it out. How you guys doing? Ah! I don't know what I really expected, but it seems like the water is blocked off. I feel like that water... I feel like that water... Where is it being blocked off to, though? Hmm. I don't know. You know what? Since this area doesn't doesn't immediately lead to Lebel Village, I'm just going to do the tea shop thing for now. I want to get stuff done. God, you're beautiful! Sorry, I keep saying that. Hello. Welcome to the Midnight Tea Shop. How can we help you? Can we help out? You want to help? You mean like, you're looking for a job? Hey, it's never too early to start. Not exactly. You see, your husband Kisaburo asked us, asked us to see if you need anything. He actually said that to you? Wow, well, I guess I could use some help with a couple things. Business has been slower these days. I guess I'd feel a lot safer if we could get just one more big tea contract. I do have a customer in mind. His name is Monsieur Bud, and he holds a regular tea events that require lots of tea. I'm sure if I could bring him a sample, he'd be our customer in no time. Unfortunately, I'm the only employee, so I can't really leave the store right now. If I could leave, I'd also visit our neighbor to pick up some dragon ash for this flower I'm growing here. Hey, a carabana! Wow, good eye, it is indeed a Hikaribana. She's grown quite a bit. However, I don't think she'll bloom without that dragon ash. Anyway, so you'd really like to help? Okay, then would it be too much to ask you to go to my place? No, I want to mind the shop while you go. To bring Monsieur Bud a sample of our tea and to pick up some dragon ash for our, from our neighbor? Sure, we'd love to help. Oh, thank you so much. You find Monsieur Bud in the Skylands. A beanstalk west of Liebel Village should take you there. You can give him a sample of tea from this gourd. Isn't gourd a fantastic word? <gasps> Midnight tea! Jeffrey, it's you! I bet in your Let's Play you probably made a fuss about this, didn't you, Jeffrey? Don't lie. Our neighbor lives in the cave right outside our shop. Occasionally, the entrance to the cave gets blocked by fallen rocks, so you might need to find a pickaxe to clear them. If you ask nicely, I'm sure she'll give you some dragon ash. Her name is Stormy, and she's a great water dragon. Try not to be intimidated. Good luck, and thanks again. Yay, that means we do indeed have to get the pickaxe, which means, uh, I guess we'll... I don't think that there's any other way to leave a village, so we'll, we'll take this door back and go around. Bum, bum. Was that always locked? I don't remember. Uh, there should be a way to leap a village through here, right? Yeah. 
because we're just uh, over here. Let's see where Tony and Christine are also. Uh, actually, Tony might be over on the island, so I'm gonna... Oh, no, 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 they're right up there. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy, guys, to see this. I'm not happy that Benny is dead, but I'm so happy that they had a resolution. I like having a grandpa. Yeah, he never met his grandkids before, did he? Honey! My dad is so different now. Thanks so much for fixing that something that was so important to both of us. It's good to see you again. How are you? I'm doing great. I no longer want to live by myself on that island. I'm really enjoying spending time with my daughter and grand cubs. Thank you for giving me back something I thought was gone forever. If you brush your teeth and you get your grades, I will... Sorry. I will be so proud. How you doing there? Alright, there's a door here, isn't there? Welcome back, guys. What can I do for you? Pickaxe. You don't have the right materials. Camphor sticks, lumen rocks, and nightstones. The heck? So what was the fireflies and reeds for? I don't know. I have one camphor stick. Wow. Uh. Huh. I guess that's what we're doing now. Where does this go? Right, right. That's where we exited after getting the Tony thing. Derp. Uh, I feel like I should have more of these by now. Uh, maybe there's stuff in the sky up over here now, or is that all still blocked? That's open now. It's time for sheeps. Yeah, boy. Are those the camper sticks? Yes, they are. Sweet. Okay, so we have to go item collecting here, and I have to try everything. Fairies. Man, the music here. Trees. Wow, the music. How you doing? Liebel Artisan. Giants in my heart, as news of my artistic creations actually spread beyond the Great Sea? Well, in that case, today I have some very special items for sale. Oh, he sells you stuff too. Um, wow, I don't have the money for this, do I? Yeah, how much money do I have? 25. Uh, I'll hold off. I'll come back here when I have the full amount. That's where I get more stuff there. Okay, so I think I have all the camphor sticks. Now I just need to find the the lumen rocks, was it? I feel like I should have had at least some of those. I th think we talked about this. He's a true artist, one of a kind. He might have some interesting things for sale. Camphor sticks, five. Oh, Lumen Rock, three. Nightstone, three. Heck if I know where to find them. He helped us plant a turnip the other day. A turnip! Wow, that's so special. Winston's making boats. Hmm. Oh, maybe I should go to the thing west of the village and actually do something there, Dovi. Uh, I think that we can jump over here, right? This is... This is we got the wings, no? Yes? Can we? No, we have to empty the water, don't we? Oh, that's a shame. So... Yeah, she's just kind of over there, but we got this beanstalk now. Which we grew 
some point, and this is probably a lumen rock. Yeah, okay, these are all our materials. Also, can I can I get to that? Yes, I can. You sneaky game, you. 25G, nice. I'm just gonna not talk, and we're gonna listen to this music, and that's it. Everybody clap along. Sorry. <laughs> as soon as I said that, the clapping stopped. Corsal Farmer. Whoa, where did you come from? You're like giants. You live up here alone? Technically, yes. However, my friend is over so often, it feels like I have a ruby. That must be great. Well, he is an onion, so he doesn't like the sun, and that's basically his excuse for everything. I can't go looking for a job because I'm an onion. I can't go on fresh air because I'm an onion. I'll make your hat. Uh, you'll make your hat smell really bad because I'm an onion. Because I'm an adult. The only re reason he smells so bad is because he has not showered in literally buds. <sighs> yeah, exactly. What's over there? You mean beyond the bridge? That's Monsieur Bud's Island. He is, well, a rather large sky bud who has fed CT parties. If you're feeling like it, go check out a little. Uh, go check it out. A little too fancy for my blood, though. Not my cup of tea. <laughs> oh, I'm so clever. Wow, there's a lot of this stuff. Good. Oh man, look, they're having a little rave party over there. There's a lot of stones and stuff scattered around here. That's nice. I hear my dear buds serving some kind of special t cake at tea today's tea. I can't wait to eat, but I'm still kind of full from the last event. As long as it's not the cake from Earthbound. I had five scones the other day in Monsieur's Bud Afternoon Tea. I gotta work it off somehow. Reach for the sky! Work off those calories! Reach for the sky. Just gotta check everything for no particular reason. You know, cuz. It's a cave. I'm gonna have like 300 camper sticks by the end of this. I thought that we were done, but then I remembered <laughs> this game actually has things for us to find. Places to go. People. Yay, I'm another marble! That's how we're gonna be. No, no, we don't have time to do that with this episode. I feel like we should we should end off an episode with it, though. I look forward to finding the mo those marbles now, man. If I stand right here, doesn't it kind of look like I have a tree growing out my head? Trees growing out of flowers. Oh my, the tables have turned. Oh, uh, you're funny. My, how the turntables have have uh. if you heard there's a label artist who created a remarkable tea set bar after sky buds it's gorgeous I believe he's one of he's on one of the other floating islands you should check it out if you get the chance maybe I will and maybe I will look at that look at that little island that's there for no purpose other than to look pretty oh more more money. Yay. Big money! Now we definitely have enough to buy everything from the artisan. Yeah, um, yeah, so it's a good thing for the posh parties. Are you looking for Monsieur Buzz afternoon tea? No. Yes? It's just up these stairs. Enjoy yourself. I didn't know these guys, like, played regular instruments. I just oh I I love that it, it's just going for the like the minuet style music. It's great. You know the 17th 18th century French. <laughs> I didn't get you this job so you could just goof off all day. First these stink bombs and now these preposterous drawings. Maxwell Howell the second you will stop this behavior at once. Little bud. Oh man, it's little buds. My name. Oh, I'm sorry. My name is Little Birds. Little Buzz. What? Why the? You're acting like a hooligan. 
Lil Bud's not Maxwell. I love it. Dad, you got chill. Mm. You're going to be chilling in your bedroom for the next two weeks if you don't clean up your act. But Dad... I'm serious. If you mess up one more time, you're grounded. Now, come with me and behave yourself. You have a job to do. Yes, Dad. I'm pretty sure he's the one that I gave that voice to. Pretty sure it was Lil Buds, yeah. Wow, Mom, this place is really fancy, isn't it? You're right, dear. This m must be where Monsieur Bud lives. Sugar baby? Wow! Is that like a sugar daddy? Don't answer that. Wow. I've never seen you guys before. Where did you come from? Are you gonna stay for the Monsieur's afternoon tea? Whoa! Sugar baby! Oh my god, that's a big powdered wig. Yes, Rupert. My food from the kitchen has gone missing. Oh no, why did they take this time? <laughs> Only the Monsieur's absolute favorite dish. Pecan bullets in a better crumble. Not the crumble. Yes, sugar baby, they took the crumble. Cr I can't do that, rolling R. Crumble. We must be on high alert until we figure out who and where this food thief is. Who are these outsiders? Oh, these folks, they are, uh, they're from, uh, they're my cousins. Cousins? Hmm, your cousins? Oh yeah, my cousins, they're totally cool. I've known them my whole life. Hmm. Well, I guess if they're your cousins, it should probably be okay. But you'd better keep an eye out on them. I don't want anything else to get stolen today. Yes, of course, Rupert. Phew, that was close. My name's Sugar Baby. Well, my real name's actually Ethan. <laughs> But everyone calls me Sugar Baby because it's my job to bring people sugar cubes for their tea. You guys aren't from around here, are you? I've never met creatures from across the Great Sea before. Wow. You both look so cool. Don't look at my mom like that. I mean, look at those arms. Your arms have five little arms growing out of the ends of your arms. I guess that's one way to look at fingers. And you have brown grass growing at the top of your head. Brown grass. So cool! So, what brings you guys to most of your buds? We were hoping he might try some of this special tea. It's the best tea in all the forest. Oh, the monster loves new teas! I'll take you to see him right now! Oh, wait. Uh. Buggies! Are you okay? Normally this would be easy, but there's a slight problem. As you could probably tell from what just happened, someone has been stealing food from the kitchen. I wonder who it is. Who do we know that steals stuff? And well, until we figure out who the thief is, Rupert, he's my boss, is not gonna let anyone near the monsieur. Sorry guys. <gasps> Unless... Maybe you guys could help us find the thief! We're short staffed today, so I bet I could get you guys a job here. You mean we'd get to work here? In this big mansion? Yeah, it's pretty easy. People ask for tea and you deliver it. Plus, you get to eat a ton of free food. Strawberry cake, sandwiches, silo berry jam, you name it. That sounds great. Let's indenture ourselves to several different people now. I bet since you're new, the buds would love to gossip with you. Just do a good job and they'll talk with you and tell you stuff. I bet you get all sorts of information that way. If you can help us find the thief, I'm sure the monsieur's, the monsieur would drink your tea. 
What do you say? Will you help us find the thief? I can get you that job, no problem. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, yeah! Okie dokie, come with me. First, I gotta ask Rupert if he'll hire you. Game, I wanna end, I wanna end the video game. This place is horrifying. Hey, Rupert! This is gonna be important. It is. I have great... I'm sorry. I have great news. You found the crumble thief. Not quite, but it's still good. You know how Lester and Flora called in sick today? Uh, don't remind me. Today... Today's not the day I want to be short-staffed. Well, worry not, Rupert. My cousins can take their place. Uh, I love his eyes there. Your cousins. I thought they were just visiting. Do they even have any experience at the waiting tables or with tea? Do they have any experience? What kind of question is that? Why, when they come from where they come from, they're practically famous for serving tea. Uh. Hmm. So, what do you know about tea? Well, now that all depends. And we'll have to find out what that depends on in the next episode. So thank you all very much for watching. This has been Sephiroth 4 with Let's Play Rockwood Blind. Goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye.